Okay, this is my uh, Pioneer CD player. And as you can see, the power comes in straight to the board here. And there's jumper wires here, and there's no uh, fuse of any kind here to protect the circuitry. And uh, the reason I put the fuse in is see the uh, power comes off the secondary, comes over here, see these rectifier diodes down here. If one of them go bad in a shorting condition, it can cause this transformer to short out. And while it's taking time to burn the house fuse, it can start a fire because this cord here is not rated for 20 amps. So we're going to unscrew this. Screw this here. And I'm going to unscrew this here. See the white on the cord here? That's this side. So I'm going to follow this run here and see which jumper I have to take out to put the fuse on. So I'll take this full board out. So I'm going to follow the runs from this one here to see what jumper I need to take out. So it'll be the number five here. I'm going to take number five jumper wire off so I'm going to meet that right there. And I'll just clean up the excess solder there. A little bit that splashed around there. Pick it up like that. Okay. Well, use our pliers here. We'll pull up our jumper wire here. The number five jumper wire. Pull it out like that. There's our jumper wire to the garbage. So 
So this is your standard house fuse and uh, this is a uh, what's called a pico fuse. It mounts on a board and you can see the filament inside this is obviously going to be very tiny compared to the filament inside the house fuse. So while it's taking time to blow the house fuse, the cord can getting, could get hot and draw more than what the wire is rated for. So I'm going to bend these legs here. I'm just going to make sure they're going to fit in the holes here. Okay, that's going to fit in there really nice. So I'm going to take, put this in on this side, put it in, dead centered. And now while I'm holding it in on the back side, I bend this lead over, bend that lead over so it stays flush to the board. Okay, I'm going to clean my tip. Okay, so I'll slightly tin my iron a little bit here. This is called rosin core solder, so this has the flux in it. Okay, now that I'm done soldering, I'm going to tin my iron and unplug it. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll take the clippers and I'll clip the lead even with the top of the solder joint. There's that one. I'll clip that one even with the top of the solder joint. Okay, so you can see my solder joint. I did this one, and I did that one. So I'll take a Q-tip here, and I'll go around and make sure I pick up any rosin and debris that could have been left behind from the soldering. There's a little solder ball. I want to pick that up, make sure I get that out of there. So I'll just go around it one more time, make sure I got everything all picked up. There, I'll let everybody take one more last look at my solder soldering there okay now I'll set this thing back down in here
Okay, so I can start putting the screws back in here. I like the magnetic screwdriver here. Now there's a little lock washer that goes on with this. All the lock washers on here. <sighs> now the uh, House fuse and the circuit breaker are like equal to each other, and uh, the rating on this cord is much lower than the rating of your uh, house wiring. So, if something in this uh, secondary side of the transformer shorts out, this transformer can overheat, the primary windings can start shorting, and while that's shorting, it can start drawing a lot of current, more than what this uh, cord is rated for, and it can start a house fire. So I'll bring the camera down and show you up close the fuse I put in. And it was UL listed without any... Uh, overcurrent protection in the uh, AC primary. And right there is the little fuse I put in, the little green thing there. And there's the model number, the PD4050. Okay, so I find it to be a very common thing for uh, manufacturers not to put a, a line fuse in uh, stereo components, and I feel that UL and the Consumer Product Safety Commission should require it because it's a basic fire safety thing. But uh, consult an authorized service center before doing because if it's done wrong, you can create a shock or a fire hazard. Peace. Thanks for watching.